Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I wanted to uh, go down in the craft room today and just kind of do a casual look around. Um, we have Amazon Prime Big Deal Days and I was noticing a lot of the things in my shop or my, my Amazon shop are on sale right now. And so I thought if you were interested in kind of seeing some of the things up close that I use, um, you can go ahead and uh, take a look in the shop and see uh, what's available. So um, I just, I picked a few different things this time. I know the last time I did a video, I, I highlighted about five or six things. I've got a couple di different things this time. Um, I noticed they put a lot more on sale this time. So, um, you know, definitely take a look if, if uh, you're, you're looking for any new tools or products. So I'm going to go ahead and start with the organization area. And I noticed that these apothecary drawers were uh, currently listed. And, oh, and I should mention, by the way, um, in order to get the Prime Big Deal Days, you need to be a Prime member, too. So you want to sign up for Prime, and then um, you can get all these deals um, with Amazon, which I think most people are signed up for Prime. Um, it's pretty popular, but in case you're not, just so um, you're aware of that, um, that option. So right here are the apothecary drawers. And I'm a big fan of these. If you like this sort of setup uh, for your organization, you like to have lots of little drawers. Um, these are really great. The ones that are listed on Amazon actually don't have these larger drawers. All the drawers are actually the same size. And I think they ha they're offering different colors too. They have a white one, but then they have some darker colors too. So if you like uh, a darker wood color, um, that's an option. I use these drawers a lot for just my smaller ephemera items. Since I make junk journals, I like to have little little pieces of ephemera that I include in all the journals. So I like to keep them separated out. So I use these drawers. They're really handy for that. Um, th this set over here, I got a really long time ago at Michael's. So um, I can't find that anymore. But I, this one is still on Amazon. So for these, I just keep my sales tags in here, my vintage tags for my journal making, uh, more tags, let's see what else, tags, <laughs> lots of tags, um, stickers I keep in here. Um, so they're nice. They, um, they just, they give a, they're functional, but then they also, I think, look good in a, in a craft studio. If you like kind of the look of sort of a library organization type thing. And I, I, for some reason, I just love apothecary drawers. So anyway, those are available. Uh, another thing is, um, oh, these bookshelves down here. It, they might be kind of hard to see. I have these open, this open shelving the metal shelves, they're kind of the utility shelves that you can use for garages and basements and things like that. Uh, these shelves are, very, shelves are very useful to me because um, I just have this big kind of open craft space and um, it's, it just is more helpful to have shelves lining the, the walls for storage than anything else. So I have these and I kind of utilize the vertical storage with all of my stuff. And I also store a lot of other things that you don't see like pots and pans and stuff that I don't normally use in my kitchen. I keep down here too, kind of behind the curtain, as you can see over here. <laughs> but anyway, uh, to, sometimes if you want to put books and things like that on the shelves, some of the stuff can kind of slip through. So if you don't have like a uh, something covering some of the slats in the metal uh, grates there. Um, I found these shelves on Amazon and they're actually listed for the sale today. And these are great because I they have sections in them. I think this one has one, two, three, four sections. You might be able to get the different sizes um, depending on what you're looking for. But I like these for my vintage books. So I have them all kind of tucked in to all the little cubbies here. And it just keeps them from falling through the, the slats of the, the metal. And then just a couple little extra things over here. Um, this is kind of a little section that I use for my collage supplies. And I, I have my little retro radio up here. I've talked about this before. I love this. This is just a little Bluetooth speaker. And it's in the shape of this little retro radio. And I love to listen to podcasts and music while I'm in my studio. And so it's a great little thing uh, to have to kind of, you know, have the speaker going. Um, but and if you like a little kind of like retro look. This also looks great in the studio too. I've talked a lot about how I like to have things that uh, have form and function. So um, things that make my craft room look really nice, but then I also serve a purpose. They're not just for, um, 
just for looks. So the radio is on the list. Oh, and then while we're over in the, the uh, collage area, I noticed that um, this washi tape is also available in the, uh, the sale. Let me bring it over here and show you. Um, if you like sort of the vintage garden looking washi tape, um, which I do, I love to incorporate that into collage making. I'll kind of show you what this looks like. This was my favorite. They have a di they have different options, um, but I liked the options in this one. So it's just this kind of vintage looking flora, and um, I think it's just flora. I don't think there's any fauna in this one, but uh, there are some other uh, tapes too that kind of have the same theme, and I I like these one these um, just because they kind of had that romantic. Kind of floral theme so um these are great and they're nice because they come in a little a little box and they're all tucked in here and they actually another thing that kind of looks nice on display but then you can also use what's inside so um so that is another option i also noticed too that the brother this brother scan and cut uh was also listed in the sale too if you wanted to take a look at that or if you were interested in purchasing one these are great um for trimming out uh, pre-printed ephemera that you might get on Etsy, that kind of thing. Um, they're also, it's also really useful if you um, have, you know, uh, stamps, but you don't have the matching dies and you can um, stamp out the stamps on cardstock and run it through the machine and it can cut it out for you. There's a little bit of a learning curve with it, but there's a lot of great videos online. I particularly like Julie Fafan Balzer's uh, videos that she does for the scan and cut. She does some quick videos where she just kind of shows you the basics and what how you need to use it. And there's a couple of other really good um, people that uh, do uh, demonstrations about how to use the scan and cut. So it's all on uh, YouTube. So um, definitely easy to learn. So, um, so I noticed that that was available. And as I mentioned, all this stuff is in my uh, Amazon shop so you can easily kind of go through I kind of organized it by sections so uh, card making supplies tools uh, cutting supplies that kind of thing so you'll be able to find that I think this one is under cutting supplies so now we're getting to the craft tools and these are all tools that I use for card making and journal making so the first thing I was so excited to see that this was on the list and the sale uh, this is the waffle flower grip mat and I have the kind of, I think it's the, the medium size one, eight and a half by six and a half, I believe. These are great. It's a photopolymer sheet that you can use to hold down your paper while you're ink blending or using stencils. And I use a ton of stencils. I do a lot of ink blending and this is just this is great. You can also use it um, kind of as a cushiony uh, piece for stamping too. If you just freehand stamp, um, it gives you kind of that extra give and it also holds your paper. So uh, I'll just do a quick little show here. So if you've got your card stack here and you're going to do some stenciling, it's nice. It's see-through too. So if you have a, um, a grid mat underneath, you can kind of see what you're doing. So you can pop your, your card stack right on top. It does not move. It stays gripped down here. And then you can put your stencil on top and then rather than having to use tape or anything you can just press it down and it holds just like that and then you can um, do your ink blending or stenciling whatever you want to do and it's great and it's very little cleanup um, all you do is you can just it cleans off really easily um, with soap and water but see how sticky that is and it's you're not using any tape or anything so this is just a great great uh, tool. And I actually have two of them. So if I have one that's drying in the drying rack, I have another one that I use as well. So these are really great. And then I kind of showed you these blending brushes here too. These I had gotten a while back. Um, if you like to do ink blending or, um, you know, light stenciling, these brushes are great. They're very dense, bristled, and I got all the different sizes and they were very inexpensive. And I like that they're kind of a lot of different colors too. And I saw that these were also in the sale. So um, the one thing I like to use these brushes for specifically are ink blending backgrounds. So if you have a very light, like if you want to have like a, 
a light shining behind an image and you use maybe like some yellow distress ink. This is really great because it just gives you this really soft look these brushes do. So I really like them for that. Um, they're great for with stenciling too, but I actually prefer them um, just for freehand uh, ink blending. So, and you can see you get the different sizes here. I've got the smaller ones. So those get into little areas um, if you just need a little bit of something. Um, so these are great too. And they have like the rainbow colors that I think are just so, so cheerful looking. So I have a ton of those. And then I also know this is just a tiny little tool, but for those of you that make junk journals, this has been a tool I never knew about, but is actually so helpful. And I actually learned about it from Kitty Witty Papercraft, who makes wonderful junk journals. Uh, she had talked about these needle pullers and, um, they're just like little rubber like grips. And I think they came with three in a package and I have these in a little separate box that I just kind of keep with my needles. But they're great for when you're sewing uh, signatures into journals. So you go to like pull your needle through and sometimes your hand can slip or your fingers can slip on the needle because it's so smooth. So you have one of these little grip things and it helps you pull the needle up through the journal. So these are great. I use them every time I, and I don't know what I would do without them. So um, these are a great little tool too if you're just looking um, maybe for something to help you out when you're doing your journaling. The Crocodile too I noticed was on the list and I love my Crocodile. I love that it it's a paper puncher. It's got two holes in it and then it's also does the grommets and grommets I use in my journals, um, you know, to, to do decoration on tags, um, lots of different. I've, I've used this a lot and I, and I, it took me years to buy one because I thought oh, I'm never going to need one. And I actually use it all the time with my journaling. Um, I am not a great person to explain how to use it, but I will um, link a video from Mamie, Mamie Makes and she does a great tutorial on how to use it. And it's actually very easy. Um, it's just getting to understand the types of um, grommet sizes that you would use and how to um, move the sizing here that um, you would just need to learn, but it's it's actually very easy. Um, but I, I love this. Um, and you can, they, I think they have, um, they have grommets that go with it too. So you can kind of take a look around for those. But um, I noticed that this was on the list on the sale too. Oh, and then one last thing that I really find useful are these little, I'll show you, this is my used one, um, these little chamois cloths. This is, it's dried out right now, but this is what they look like when you buy them. And you can get, there's different colors, but I think just the yellow ones are in the sale right now. Um, they come in these big sheets and it's kind of like a, um, I don't even know how to describe it. It's not cloth, but it's almost like plasticky in a way. And what I do is they come in these huge sheets and I cut the sheets in fours. And I think you get, I don't, you might get one or two big sheets in a pack. I cut them in fours and one fourth will last many, many uses. And what you do is you wet it and it um, cleans off your stamps, your clear stamps and rubber stamps perfectly. So you, you, it's, there's something with the, the grip of the uh, chamois that just gets all the ink and everything off of your stamps after you use them. So you can keep it kind of wet uh, right on top of your desk as you're making stamps. And I just stick it in here in this little um, holder here. And I just have it on my desk while I'm making cards. And since it's wet, I'll just wipe off the stamps as I'm going. And it's just easy cleanup. It keeps you, makes you keep your stamps clean so that you don't have to clean them all in one um, setting. So you kind of clean as you go. And it'll dry out. And then you just wet it again. And then once it gets, I'm, I'm probably, I should probably change this one. But once it gets pretty dirty, you can throw it out and then get a clean one and start over again. But this doesn't transfer onto your hands or anything like that. Um, but I really love these chamois. So that's everything um, that I noticed that was on the, the Amazon, uh, the Prime Big Deal Days sale. So this goes on today and tomorrow, so 8th and 9th of October, 2024. And let me know if you have any questions or if you're curious uh, to know more about any of the supplies. Um, these, Like I said, these are things that I've been using for a long time. So um, I'll put a link to my shop, my Amazon store, so you can kind of see 
all the things all in one spot. And like I said, I've got them categorized so um, it can help you kind of find what you need. So thanks again for joining me today and I'll see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.